What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Real Pastors YouTube channel. Well, we love movies, but we love Jesus more. So, <laughs> I like welcome. it. 2022, we got to make this New Year's video. We just looked back on mm -hmm. the movies that were 2021, our favorites. Efren, it's time to look ahead because it's a new year. Mm -hmm. Most anticipated movies of 2022. We're not going to name everything because, one, we don't know about everything. And <laughs> yeah. don't that time. But here's what's on our radar for 2000. Double deuce. Yes, and as we get started, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yep. yet. Start the year off right. Subscribe to Real Pastors. Right. You know, we have the little button right down there. Doesn't cost you a thing. Doesn't. And then hit that like button. Leave comments. We would love to hear from you guys, your thoughts, especially in something like this. Odds are we may not mention an anticipated movie of yours. Let us hear about it. Maybe it'll get on our list as well, and we can do a review on it later on. Indeed. Our subscribe don't cost a thing. Yes. Like Beyonce's love. Was that Beyonce yeah. saying that? Love don't cost. Anyway, moving on. No, yeah. right. it wasn't her, but I can't remember who it was. I remember who it was. Anyway, yeah. so movies 2022. Yep. We Here we go. And our first one up, and this is in no particular order. Gary and yeah. I just put our list together and we're like, this is what we're looking forward to the most. So no particular order. This isn't 10 through one. We're just going to name the 10 that we're looking forward to the most. And the first one up is Jurassic World Dominion. And, and this is me, like, listen, I, I've always loved dinosaurs. I loved them as a kid, anything, toys. So when the first Jurassic Park came out, you know, I was ecstatic. Um, so this is one, it seems like they're wrapping everything up. So I'm excited for this. I'm excited for the direction it's going. Um, and I'm hoping, Gary, maybe you can follow me in this. I'm hoping this movie makes Fallen Kingdom even better. Yeah. That's what I'm really hoping for, too. Oops. Yep. We said it, if you've been part of our channel for a while, uh, one of the early days, we did a deep dive into all the Jurassic Park movies. Um, and we talked about how excited we were for this and hoping that Fallen Kingdom was just a bridge movie to this. Mm -hmm. And all of our favorites are coming back. Dr. Alan Grant, uh, Jeff Goldblum's character. Can't remember his name right now. <laughs> you know, all the, you know. Um, Ian Malcolm. Ian Malcolm, you know, and it's going to be, uh, yeah. And then we've got Chris Pratt and all the others coming back so let's see what happens here i've been looking forward to this for a really long time yeah and hopefully they wrap things up nicely i like the whole direction of the dinos are loose in real world you know and uh they, they had they had a good we had a little taste of that in the lost world uh but this is on a massive scale and so i'm really looking forward to this i try to avoid anything only thing i saw was that battle at at red rock or whatever that thing was called and that was pretty oh, yeah. sick that so i'm hoping fun. to see more of that i've, I've tried to avoid everything else but that is, uh, but that is one we're definitely Lord looking Nern, forward that's to. That's what I was thinking about. I'm excited to see her character back because she got a cameo in uh, Jurassic Park three. But her character is too great for to just be a cameo. So. Oh yeah, who uh, who was that? Sorry, uh, Laura Dern, Ellie Sadler. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. That's Sad right. Sadler. Yes, yeah, Sadler. Yeah, yeah. The plant lady. Yeah, the Lost. plant lady. Yeah, can't wait to have her back. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um, and so next up is. One that is of zero surprise I mean, to anybody because this one is probably um, going to be on everyone's radar, and that is The Batman. Of course. Go ahead, Gary. Take away. My, my year revolves around this movie, 2022. I'm looking forward to it, leading up to it, and I'll spend the rest of the year either celebrating how great it was or in a deep, deep mm -hmm. depression of how bad it was. Um, but if you've seen our trailer reaction, which you should, it's one of our most watched videos thus far. Uh, check it mm -hmm. out, um, the latest trailer. And, yeah, I mean, you guys knew this was going to be on the list. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. See what uh, Matt Reeves and Pattinson's got to do, how, yep. how they're going to deliver this movie. And mm -hmm. uh, can't wait. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I, I have all the confidence in the world in Matt Reeves, uh, the trailers and everything. I like the direction he's going. It feels a lot more noir or noir, however you say that. Um, we get to, It seems like we get to see a lot more detective side, but we still get to see Batman – Beat, uh, beat criminals to a pulp with his bare hands. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be great. That will, how great we'll see. Uh, at least one thing's for sure: this will not be Batman and Robin or Batman Forever. At least we know that. Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, be, because of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, uh, follow. Yeah, moving on. Following up with with the uh, comic book genre here. Uh, this is one that I know I'm very excited for. Gary, I know you are as well. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. 
and this is the follow up to the uh, to the Academy Award winning very big surprise awesome Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Um, you know, the first, this seems like this thing's picking up right where the last one ended is what it seems like. You know, with the Pearl and Gwen and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm curious to see what's going on because it seems like uh, Spider Man 2099 is chasing after Miles for some reason. Don't know. Um, but they did such a good job with the first one. I know nothing of this one and I'm okay with that. I'm ready to show up and I'm ready for this ride. Yeah. Very excited about this one too. Uh, into the spider verse is one of my big surprises of that year that it came out. Was it 19, 18 or 19? Uh, and, uh, something like that. it was one of the coolest movies I've ever seen and revisit it quite a bit. And, uh, was really looking forward to the sequel. And this trailer came out of nowhere a few weeks ago. Um, just continuing mm-hmm. to spark that excitement. So across the spider verse, can't wait for it. Yep, can't wait for it either. And uh, that is one that they have a lot to live up to. And then we'll see we'll see how they do. I mean, they have a whole lot to live up to. Yeah. So. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious if we'll get the, because I mean, I've talked, talked before, the excitement you had the next day in the office after seeing this mm-hmm. movie. Um, I'm wondering if it'll capture that same effort and excitement. Yeah. Hopefully. I hope so, man. Did I just give you a new catchphrase? The effort and excitement. <laughs> I guess so. I'm hoping for man. Like this is something that it just needs to be done. Yep. Done what? Well. Excuse me. Then you keep building on it. So don't screw this up, Sony. But I have faith in you. You've done a lot of great things so far, Sony. Sony. So, Sony's Sony. doing good. Sony's doing good. Funny. <laughs> yeah. So and speaking of Sony, <laughs> yeah. If they freaking release it, Morbius. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> as of now, it is still set to release in 2022. We'll keep you updated as this continues to get moved back. Um, but yeah, Morbius, April yeah. 1st. Yeah, this looks this looks good. This character is interesting. You know, he's like I'm one of those anti-heroes kind of people. And he crossed paths with Blade and Spider-Man and others. And so it's just like, this is going to be interesting. And uh, the trailer looks good. Jared Leto looks like he's doing a good job with this character. And um, thank God, hopefully he'll just ride this character instead of, you know, and leaving Joker in the past. And uh, that's all we'll say about that. And um, which, okay, sorry, side note. Not all that is on Jared Leto. A lot of that's on writing and director. So I don't want to like completely bash him about it. But, um, but anyways, but this looks good. And hopefully we'll get it April 1st. And hopefully we'll yeah. actually see it. Does look good. Um, like I said, hopefully we get it April 1st. Hope it doesn't get pushed back even more. Uh, I'm not the biggest Jared Leto fan, but I will say uh, this looks like a character he was born to play because the trailers are look very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so now switching things up a little bit for something a little different other than comic book movies and that uh, I'm excited for is the movie Moonfall. And this is one, I mean, if you see there the cast of, you know, tons of people who know what they're doing. And, um, and this is another one by, uh, oh man, now it's Independence Day and 2012, Dag Nabby. Roland Emmerich. Roland Emmerich. There we go. Had a brain fart. Uh, but, um, but another yeah. one by Roland Emmerich and, uh, apparently he loves blowing up the earth or the <laughs> earth dying. Um, yeah. this time he's taken his, he's taken his talents to the moon <laughs> to, to blow up first. <laughs> The moon is attacking us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm so, hoping this is this is a, 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 a secret uh, Independence Day uh, sequel where the aliens you turn the moon into a weapon. There we go. And just gonna drop the moon on us. <laughs> and, uh, all I know is one thing. If, if we ever do find out there's a doomsday or whatever coming, I'm going to Roland Emmerich's house because I think he knows what to do. <laughs> yes. The, these are probably, in his mind, all documentaries. Um, yeah. he, the, he is from the future, so he's trying to warn <laughs> us all. <laughs> and, uh, I do think it's funny. We just got that Netflix movie, Don't Look Up, which is like a comedy satire on climate and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And it's like a comedy, serious take on end times or whatever. And then we get Moonfall. <laughs> <laughs> it me up how we get, you know, two different things here. I know. But it looks, but like, honestly, I see the trailer fun. and I'm like, this looks fun. Like, yeah. like this is taking me back to Armageddon, Independence yeah. Day. A lot. Of, I feel like I'm gonna go into this movie, and a lot of this stuff isn't gonna make sense, and it's gonna be stupid. And oh, it's yeah. just like, why would you? Like, why would you do this? But hey, what a ride! Like that's yeah. I, and that's all I'm looking for out of this what thing. What interests me in this is all those movies we talked about. Armageddon, you blow up an asteroid. Yeah. You know, Independence Day, you attack the aliens. How do you attack the moon? <laughs> I like, we, we kind of need it. I'm sure. I think you know. Yeah scientists tell us we need it it's, it's a cool thing up in the sky yeah you can't just blow it up yeah. so and there's some weird like black thing in the moon that's yeah. destroying stuff and doing 
I don't know, man. This already looks convoluted, but it looks, but, but it's Roland Emmerich. This looks fun. Already called Sun Shift. <laughs> where the sun and the moon battle each other. Yeah. Whoever, whoever wins, we lose. Sun versus moon. Yeah. Uh, and so, folks, if you're if you're watching, if you're seeing this and us like now already having fun with just the yeah. trailer and the title of this thing, like I can't imagine the fun we're gonna have in the actual theater, and that's all I want. Just give me a lot of fun. I don't care if it's logical. I don't care. Like this is like when the movie Rampage came out yeah. with The Rock, and I'm like, this looks completely stupid, and I can't wait because it just looks like a lot of stupid fun. That's what I'm expecting hope, out of this. Yeah, I hope it's self-aware and it doesn't take itself too seriously, you know, because. Mm-hmm. That's when I'll just roll my eyes, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. We, we have a movie called Moonfall coming out. We have a movie called Dog coming out, yeah. and we have a movie called Ambulance coming out this year. Yeah. Those are the titles we have for some movies. <laughs> I know. So I just wanted to mention that you know they, they all look fun, but Dog, Ambulance, <laughs> Moonfall. <laughs> I know. It, it literally just like. We ain't got time for the title. It's almost like they got the working title and they said, that. Ah, let's just keep it. Like, they didn't even care. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. So, yeah. completely shifting gears, though, on something that has high expectations to be an actual oh, yeah. good movie. And uh, and that is this. Lightyear. Space coming out Coming out June. Yeah, Space Man. And, uh, and this is one that um, apparently this is going to be set in the Toy Story universe, but this is... The story of how Buzz Lightyear, their toy, and became a phenomenon. It's the actual dude. Brilliant and, idea. Yeah, I think I am so too. I'm very excited about this movie. Brilliant idea. And when I first saw it, I was like, "Wait, are they just rebooting Toy Story?" I was like, "No, this is this is what the toy's based on." Awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, the only thing is, like, I still think they could have made it work with Tim Allen and just been like, "We got the actual man to do the voice for the toys or something." Um, but I get it. Like, I'm not like I'm not mad at it, right? And then seeing the trailer, hearing the voice, it doesn't sound bad. Is you it know, Chris Evans is that who it is? Yeah, it's Chris Evans starring as That's Buzz Lightyear. Oh, all right. Yeah, so it doesn't sound bad, you know, in the trailers and stuff. So I'm okay with it. I'm excited uh, to see this. I mean, you know how much I love Buzz Lightyear. I mean, I have Buzz Lightyear yeah. shoes and yeah. jackets and all this stuff. So I, I love this character. So cool. I'll be there. Yep, yeah, I'll be there. I can't wait to see it. But uh, again, with it being Disney and Pixar, there's uh, high expectations on this actually being like a really good story, really good character development. So where Moonfall is like, give me stupid fun. This one, I'm like, you better give me a darn good story to make me love this character even more. Yeah. And the trailers have been excellent so far. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what, this is a this seems like a really interesting, really good movie. Great idea. Unlike Toy Story 4. We didn't need that, but I'm glad we're getting yeah. this. You know? Yeah, and didn't need that at all. Hear me out. Pixar, Disney, if this does well and it is good, give us a Woody's Roundup movie. Come on. Now, you know, the argu- you know the argument's going to be we already got that in Toy Story 2. You know that's going to be the argument. Give us a Western about Woody. You know? <laughs> Come on. I'll be there day one. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, I'd watch it too. <laughs> yeah. We'll I'd watch it too. a movie about ham. You know? We'll get- <laughs> so. I think that's already called uh, Charlotte's Web. <laughs> that's <laughs> or- true. Babe. or babe yeah, yeah i'm pretty sure we already got this yeah so yeah i'm looking forward to light year yeah. yeah yeah that one's looking good and then uh so then moving on this next one that we're looking forward to uh gary has not had a chance to see uh the trailer to this now this is one that i'm afraid might get a little lost because it's been delayed and moved around that kind of thing it's called death on the nile um this one's supposed has is slated for a february release and this is the follow-up to murder on the orient express Oh. Um, yeah, so that's what this is. You see the mustache man there behind uh, Wonder Woman, and uh, he's a detective. And, and like, I, like, I reason why I even brought this up, I'm excited for it because I, I just love these mystery type movies. I love to try to figure out the who done it and all that kind of stuff. So, Murder on the Orient Express happened on the train. Now, this one's happening on a cruise ship that's going down the Nile River. And um, again, you know, a part of, you know, this book series and stuff like that. Uh, you see their Black Panther's little sister is there. Um, so, I mean, this guy, it's got a star-studded cast, just like the first one. Um, so this one, this, that's what this is. It's another who done it. And uh, if you check out the trailer, please do. Uh, the trailer gives you a little bit. Uh, Wonder Woman there, she is afraid that someone's going to kill her. And I'm assuming someone does. I don't know. Uh, he, you know, the detective there, he gets brought on to figure it out. And, you know, it, it's just a lot of chaos and stuff. So that's why uh, this one's on my list, because I just love these kind of movies. And sometimes you need a slower paced thinking man's movie. And I hope that that's what go. this brings to the table. 
Yeah, I uh, I remember Murder on the Orient Express. I never saw it, but I remember that when that came out. Um, I have to check it out because yeah, I like a done it. Yeah, mm-hmm. check it out. Yeah. So that was one that was for, like I needed on this list because that was one for me, even though Gary hadn't seen it. Um, I'm glad you put on the list because it was it hadn't been on my radar. But yeah, just now I'll check out the trailer after this and try yeah. to watch the train one before February. Yeah, there you go. So hopefully you can do that. And this next one, uh, this was on here, again, to no surprise to, uh, to anyone, especially if you've been watching us uh, since the beginning and you know Gary, uh, no surprise at all. The next one on the list is Top Gun Maverick. And uh, I'm going to have to just uh, leave, I guess. And <laughs> no, Go ahead, Gary. Let I him know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got you it. Know. I've been very excited for this movie ever since I was a little kid. They should make a Top Gun 2. What's Maverick doing these days? Well... We have the movie. We haven't seen it yet. It has been delayed <laughs> and delayed and delayed. And right now it is set for a May something release. May something? I don't know. Yeah, and, around uh, May. I hope it stays put there because I'm ready to see this movie. I was loved the the trailers for it. And um, so, yeah, I mean, what else is there for me to say? I'm ready to see this movie. Mm-hmm. And yeah. at this point, if they delay it again, at this point, Paramount, as much as I want to see this on the big screen, just put on Paramount Plus if you're going to delay it again. I mean, seriously. That's fair. I mean, that's fair. Like, just give, just give people what they want. Uh, but we'll see, because another one that didn't make the list, and the reason why I didn't put it on the list, Gary, and we didn't even talk about it, is May because. 27. Oh, there you go. It's because of all the delays and stuff, even with shooting, which is Mission yeah. Impossible 7, also starring Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. But I didn't put it on the list because I'm like, I don't know when the heck we're going to get that. So I'm not even going to throw It may not even be 2022 when we get it that. It may not movie. be. So I'm like, whatever. Um, yeah. And this one, and if this, hopefully if this it stays gets pushed back, you will get a distress video from me on the channel where I say all is lost. Dogs and cats living together. It is time. Chaos is in soon. Uh, mm-hmm. Make a run for it, folks. Um, yeah. I will say, uh, just watch season four of Cobra Kai. And one of my favorite lines ever about the Top Gun movie was said by uh, uh, Johnny. He said, he talked about how Iceman was the coolest in Top Gun, which I agree. And that, <laughs> Tom Cruise was lame. He calls himself Maverick. You can't call yourself a Maverick. I thought this was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I can see what they're saying, but you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that is. Uh, but yeah, so of course we had to bring it up, and we can't have the Top Gun poster in Gary's background and not bring up Top Gun Maverick. So like, it just it just needs to happen. Um, but it's one. I mean, you guys know how I feel about the first Top Gun, but because I'm a decent friend, I will go you watch did. this with Gary. I will. Yeah. And we're going to yeah. try to figure out if we can do a commentary. On the first one. The first one. Yeah, on the first one. Yeah. yeah. Just in case people think, yeah, we're going to sit in the movie theater commenting yeah. on the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Ruining everyone's experience yeah. that's in there. And hey, we're doing a commentary for our channel. Subscribe. Don't mind us. <laughs> Don't mind us. Everyone just like tries to blacklist us because we're just talking during the movie the whole time. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so the first one. We'll see what we'll do there because I probably just need to rewatch it anyways. Because, I again, I saw it once and said, this is dumb. Uh, and I was a child. So, I mean, because uh, my dad's like, you need to watch this. However, Top Gun did have a fantastic Nintendo game, which I did love very much. Oh, yeah. I never so, so, based, so based on that, I'll give it another try, <laughs> which I think is fair. Um, but moving on for Top Gun, here's the next one that uh, is it, uh, it was excited for me. I can't remember, Gary, if you said you saw this trailer or I not. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, okay. So this is The Black Phone starring yeah. Ethan Hawke. He is the one behind the mask. And uh, this is this is a, a horror suspense movie. And uh, what it is, is like, I guess has never talked to strangers. This guy has uh, kidnapped some kids and um, the kid's trying to, trying to break his way out. And there's one black phone that is in the uh, room where the kid is being held and it rings and the kid picks it up and he hears the voices of past kids that had been kidnapped by this guy. And, uh, the, and each time it's like them, it's them telling him, here's how I almost got out. Here's how I almost got out. So this kid hopefully can build upon all this and escape. And the whole time, of course, Ethan Hawke is trying to keep him there. So again, it's a suspense horror uh, kind of movie. You have people on the outside, you know, trying to find this kid and it's just this mad rush. Um, so this was, this was on my Raider one. Cause it was like black phone starring Ethan Hawke. I was like, okay, I'll watch the trailer for this. Ethan Hawke. I'm down. Um, so, so that's what this one is about. I know this isn't necessarily Gary's cup of tea type of movie, but, uh, but that's what it's about. And it looks, and it looks pretty good. Hopefully, um, you know, this is one I will say depends on rating on, on if I actually end up watching it or not. Um, 
just because again this is one like if they keep it pg-13 like you know it'll probably be fine but if they do r they might do stupid stuff for no reason and no one wants to see that so but hopefully well i should say i don't want to see that um but hopefully they don't hopefully they focus more on good storytelling and suspense yeah. and uh for this movie well I love suspense. I love true crime. I love a thriller. But ghost kids talking on the phone, I'm out. Have fun with this. Gary's like, I can't. I can't. You lost me there. I'm good. On, I'm good on that one. Enjoy that one. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is, uh, but the th- thing is, like, if you watch the trailer, they're not being creepy. They're just straight I'm up okay. like, yeah. yeah. But they're straight up just like, hey, here's how you need da 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 da, and it's just like him like getting flashes, and it's like, you know, I was like, okay, so it doesn't seem like they're being creepy. They're not making it worse. They're legit trying to help him. So my so, homework is to check out the black phone trailer and the the, the murder in the river trailer. There we go. Yeah, yeah, murder in the river trailer, and uh, and we have one last one here to wrap things up uh, for us, and uh, this is one that um, has a lot riding on it, and it is the Flash. And uh, talking about, you know, the story being Flashpoint, Michael Keaton's in this, Ben Affleck is in this. Um, uh, there have been rumors, I don't know if this is true, about uh, what's his name being uh, um, Bruce Wayne's dad, Dag Nabbit, I forget, Thomas Wayne. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and the one who played Thomas Wayne, I forget that actor's name. Jeffrey Wait, Dean Morgan. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. So there's rumors about that. But either way, there's a lot riding on this and there's, uh, who knows what this could mean for the future of the DCEU. And, um, but this is one that is coming out. Like, honestly, like I like flash flash has never really been like one of my top favorite kind of heroes, but he's been a hero that I liked. Um, and you know, the whole idea of a speech during stuff, but this mixed with the Batmans and, and what can happen with the possibility of what's to come. Uh, this is why this one makes the list as well. Yeah. 2022 is built around two movies for me, uh, the Batman and the flash. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Yep. Crazy looking forward to it. Uh, we said in our other video, we hope this movie is a pivot, not a, not in a race. Yes. So a new direction, yes, not in a race. So let's see what they do. And I am very anxious. to. I'm ready to see another trailer, hopefully uh, before too long. Um, the teaser we got was great. Um, mm-hmm. And, um, yep, cannot wait to see what they do with this movie. Yeah, and this is one. There's a lot riding on it. And um, if this thing bombs – like not just financially, but bombs like in general, like this is just a bad movie. Uh, you'll see a lot of people check out of DC after this. Um, so they're going to have to really uh, land the plane well on this one. But I'm no curious turbulence. how they're going to get the casual movie goer into this movie. Mm. Um, like, cause you know, we're, we're going to be there day one, right? But the people who aren't in the know of comic books and it's like they're like how is michael keaton in this movie and then you mm-hmm. know are they gonna are they gonna see that and be intrigued go for nostalgia or or the flash or are you gonna get people who love the tv show because i hear that's very popular mm-hmm. um you know I, i'm curious how, how they're gonna do that you know get yeah get the casual they're, movie goer to see this movie yeah they're gonna have to they're gonna they're just not gonna have a choice they're gonna have to which stinks for guys like us. They're going to have to release a trailer that probably shows quite a bit to get people excited, which stinks for us because we don't want to see too much. You know, like we we don't. But I think they're going to have to do that to get people on board to say like, hey, like we're bringing you some really, really cool stuff. And so if there are people, like let's be honest, people our age who maybe are just kind of like, eh, on movie going or whatever, but they've seen Michael Keaton Batman, if they see him like in the trailer then it might be like, yo, I remember watching that movie as a kid. He's going to be in it. I'll watch it. Um, you know, so so I think there's going to have to, they're going to have to nostalgia bait a little bit um, to get people in, uh, kind of like they did with other movies. Um, so I think they're going to have to do that and and show a little more than what we want, but I think that's how they can do it. Yep. Nostalgia, fan service, I'm fine with it as long as it makes sense. Mm-hmm. And we'll see. So. Yep. So those are our most anticipated movies of 2022. What are yours? We would love to hear it. Let us know down in the comments your most anticipated movies. And uh, we'll go ahead and call this out. Damien, we already know about Sonic 2. Yes, we, we know. We it's know. not on our list because these are a little bit higher priority. So I'm just going to yeah. ahead and let you know, Damien. But yeah. for the rest of you, maybe Sonic 2 is. Go ahead and put it in the comments. Like We put don't really comments. care. Yeah. We're watch. just giving Damien yeah. a shout out because... You know, we need to every once in a while. No. Give some people way, shout outs. The song My Love Don't Cost This Thing, uh, that's sing by Jennifer Lopez. Oh, there you go. 
<laughs> now that you say it, like, oh, yeah, why did I forget that? Um, but, yeah, but so leave us in the comments what you think. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button. And uh, we would love to hear from you guys what your most anticipated movies are. Do you agree with some of the movies on our list? Did we happen to tell you of movies you had no idea of? Yeah. Let us know on that, too. And, Thanks for uh, watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Yep. We will see you guys next time. See you.